Hi there, this is Rich from Haken and you are watching Loudwire. So one of the first riffs or songs that I came across on the guitar would have almost certainly been Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. It's one of my favorite songs still to this day. And it's largely down to my dad really because he was a huge Pink Floyd fan and he would pretty much exclusively listen to Pink Floyd in the house, so I had no chance but to be a fan. This song is one of their simpler songs. It's largely based around G and E minor in the open position, which are two very important chords when you're first starting out. So from there, I would have moved on to Jimi Hendrix. And he, he had a massive impact on me as a guitarist. When I first heard him, I was just knocked right back because of his rawness and roughness in his playing. It was amazing. I just loved the way he could fuse this kind of raunchy blues style with rock so seamlessly. And no one else was really doing that at that time. So I loved it, loved it so much. One of my favorite songs to play of his was Hey Joe. So I'm gonna give that one a go. So when I was growing up, I didn't really ever have a guitar teacher. I would just watch VHS and DVDs and then just jam with people, listen to as much music as possible. And that was all really my teacher, I guess you could, you could say. So I just took what I could from these various sources and developed it into my own style. One of the kind of artists that stood out were, was Paul Gilbert. And he, he's such an amazing player, but his videos are so humorous. He used to just be sitting there. I remember one where he's sitting on a rubber dinghy in the middle of a swimming pool, just shredding away on his guitar like he just didn't, didn't care. This is part of Technical Difficulties by Paul Gilbert. <laughs> Yeah, that one was a real, real tricky, tricky song to uh, to learn. Two techniques that I struggled with. I remember vividly struggling with bending and adding vibrato to the top. I always used to bend downwards, then add the vibrato to the top of that bend. But I noticed everyone else was bending upwards for the most part. So I decided to try it. And I couldn't do it. I'd always get like halfway and think, oh, I can't can't quite get there and there wasn't enough stability or conditioning in my fingers to really pull it off so it took a bit of time to build my finger strength and then add the vibrato and make it sound nice and fluent and stable so that was a real real technical difficulty I guess you could say um, and then from there the natural progression was unison bend and this is something I love to do so you'll hear it in all of my solos and throughout a lot of the Haken back catalogue. Um, here's an example from Cockroach King from our album The Mountain. It's such a really fun way to inject energy into a solo and create a sense of dynamics. Here's one from um, my solo in Crystallize from our Restoration EP. Favourite riffs, I was a massive Metallica fan, just like pretty much everyone else who was into heavy music. My favourite album was And Justice For All. 
for me, it was like a stepping stone between the hardcore music I used to listen to when I was younger and then the progressive metal stuff I got into at a, a later date. So that was like a stepping stone for me. It was uh, like a gateway drug almost to the more sophisticated side of, side of metal. So a couple of riffs I really loved were from Harvester of Sorrow. So I'm going to try and play those. <laughs> I also love the one, so I'm going to try and play that one. Here we go. So one of my favorite riffs from Satch was the Satch Boogie. It's a tricky one to play, so it's been a while. So bear with me again. Yeah, what a what a tune. Another band that really had an impact on me was Radiohead. And as I was in high school, they were pretty much forming the soundtrack of my years there. And me and the singer Ross were actually in a cover band called Lost Child. And we got the name Lost Child from the OK Computer cover. This one is um, Paranoid Android. <laughs> I was massively into Rage Against the Machine as well. I was lucky enough to catch them on their final tour before they had their, their massive hiatus. And that was a Reading Festival. Yeah, amazing, super funky stuff. And Tom Morello is just an incredible player. He's got a real good ear for groove, but also just crazy sounds. There's no one who can um, create patches like Tom Morello. One night I got chatting to a guy who went by the name of Hardcore Will, and he was the flyer guy. And he used to hand out the flyers at every show that I went to. And we got chatting about guitar based music or just heavy music in general. And I was like, Metallica are the greatest band of all time. Kirk Hammett is the greatest guitarist ever. And he said, yeah, they're, they're great, but you need to check out Dream Theater. They're insane. And John Petrucci is just on another level. He's totally out there. So the next day I was fascinated. So I went to my local record store and bought Awake. And I gave Ross, the Haken singer, a phone call. And also my mate Matthew Marshall, who is the original Haken guitarist. I was like, guys, you've got to come over. I've got this insane album. We need to listen to it. So we sat down in my bedroom and we just listened to it from start to finish. And we were just looking at each other throughout the whole album, thinking this can't be real. Are they actually playing this stuff live? This, this is impossible. So we watched some videos and yeah, they were actually playing it. And it was one of those watershed moments that really showed us what could be achieved in a band setting. And it really spurred us on to form Haken, so we owe them quite a bit. This one is one of my favorite riffs from the album, and it's a Rotomania from Awake. <laughs> So one of the first 
solos I ever attempted to play was from Sweet Home Alabama. And it's a really cool song. It's very simple to learn the basics of it. <laughs> All of that stuff is so cool, very country twanged blues. I love it. But um, yeah, so the basics of it are very simple, but when you actually dive deeper, you, you actually understand that there's a lot more sophistication behind some of the guitar parts that they're playing. So the first solo in the song took me a while to fully get under my fingers, but it's one of the first solos that I remember attempting. It goes a little like this. <laughs> So, favourite Haken riffs. I feel like I need to get my other guitar out. So the first riff I'm going to play is Falling Back to Earth from the Mountain. It's a real fun one to play live because it literally comes out of nowhere. It's the first riff or the first part of that song. And we have a click in our ears, so we know it's coming, but the crowd don't know it's coming. So it's almost like a smack in the face to the crowd. Um, another riff I love playing is from our album Aquarius, and it's from the middle section of Aquarium. <laughs> One of my favorite riffs from Virus. So this one is using a bunch of open strings. It kind of tips the hat towards the likes of Tool and Carnival, who we're all massive fans of. So it's one of my favorite riffs from the album and it goes a little like this. Mm -hmm. 